Hello guys, I'm Claudio, and nope, it's not a clip bait. It's neither kind of uh, uh, those kind of videos where people show setting and special things for just improve the render speed, but it's V-Ray Cloud. Uh, so it's a service that offers V-Ray, and it's in beta right now. So everyone can use it and can, can try it for free. So why don't you make a try? So, if you don't have time, uh, I've made a short video as fast as possible um, where you can, you know, speed up everything and just see what I'm talking about. If you want to know more detail, just follow this video and I will go deeper into it. So, what is a V-Ray Cloud? It's a service that is on beta, as I said before, and V-Ray is trying to offer a service to let clients to just render on cloud every render. And as in the title I said, you, you can speed up right now for free your uh, render animation for 50 times. 50 render at the same time. You know, it's a lot. So I advise you to try it really because I could not believe in myself. I will link in the description also like the official trailer of this service uh, by Cos Group, but here I'm gonna show you how does this work. So for the first thing, we need to enter in the site. Every link will be below in the description, and just enter. So if you have an account, just sign in. If you don't have it, just create. It's really easy, and you know everyone can do that. So uh, we are going to enter with account. And when you log in, you will log in in V-Ray Cloud Beta. You will have a tons of, of folders which you can create. You will have a query. And anyway, we'll pass later on this. How to send render on cloud. There are a few ways. If you have V-Ray Next, it's actually really, really easy. So here we are in uh, 3D Studio Max 2019, and here I had V-Ray Next as a trio. So everyone can download V-Ray Next for every software like 3D Studio Max, Maya, SketchUp, Rhino, Revit, and whatever, you know, Blender. You can download V-Ray Next trio for 30 days, and which will allow you to use V-Ray Cloud for 30 days really in an easy way. How to do that? Uh, just open up your 3D Studio Max or whatever software and in here you can just open the render on cloud. So this will just open this window and you will just export an animation or export a, just a still image and this will submit. So it will load everything, it will create a V-Ray scene and then just upload on, on the cloud. So it will pop up this kind of, of, of submitting job. Uh, but if you don't have a V-Ray cloud, if I, for example, I export my trio, I can actually export a V-Ray scene. So I click X and I write V-Ray scene, V-Ray scene exporter, and it will pop up this uh, window which ask you the export path and V-Ray path, as you should not change this, but you can change uh, the output path of the animation or the render and check e export animation if you want to export an animation and set the frames if you want to, to make a difference. So I'm gonna just export it. For example, I'm gonna export it in here. So I'm gonna save it. What I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna go to the site on V-Ray Cloud, and in here I'm gonna to download the client app. So, download for Windows, and then just install it. It's easy. So install it. I already done it, and after you install it, you will just open up the V-Ray Cloud client. So when you open up, you it will just appear this window, and you just set the path where you put the V-Ray scene. In my case, on this folder. So I'm creating also animation because in here I have a short animation. So I exported my V-Ray scene file and I'll just copy this path and I'll just paste it in here. 
so I will just see the file I will click on it and I can rename the job I can put it in a folder or create a new one I can choose in here the, the setting and the size of the render the aspect ratio and you know er everything uh, about the render mode and the output format this will take the, the setting that you just put it before to export the V-Ray scene file so be sure that everything is set as you would like so you can render all the elements elements passes and it will be everything done the only thing that they are working I guess it's the crypto map because I had some trouble with that but all the other passes are just perfect and they are so clean and everything is really perfect so you will just for example choose how many frames you want to do I'm just gonna do like uh, two frames three frames for example and just submit it so it will upload the file and then you can just view the job so in here you will have many and many renders that has been rendering and you can see on preview uh, here you have all the information about uh, the job that you're you submitted as you can see in here the render is going and you can see the utilization of the credits so it's 5000 of credits this scene has not been optimized so it's using a lot of credits actually and it tells you also the render time and if you click on it you can also see a preview of the render um, in a full size and after when the job is complete you can click on and you will see the full the full size of the file which as you can see is pretty perfect and you can click in here and download it and the most easy way is clicking here the download from the browser and you can click on it and you will download the file zip which will contain two files the jpeg and or the xr or re image file uh, as you choose it but if you have if you have an animation uh, this may be really like 50 gigabytes or something like that so uh, sometimes this does not work so what V-Ray advise is to copy this and open the command so just write in start command and just open it up and just copy this word and just paste it in here and you can change for example also the the folder of the file you want to save on like for example let's say that I want to save it in this folder I can copy in here I can copy this one and just delete it delete this part and add you know and just press ok and it will start to render and it will output this file in here and it will be faster to download as you can see it's already creating files and you can resume it and it's really great for big files so as you can see it's faster than it was before and after you will have a jpeg with all the file with the great size you know and even the excel file like you can open up photoshop or whatever nuke and yeah and here you have all the query and for example in here is really interesting because you have all the resources what does it mean you have credits for each render you're rendering you're going to use the credits that now are free so as you can see i'm i'm rendering and this slowly is going down because it consumes some rendering uh some credits so for default you have 1000 but you can request more and as you can see I requested many and many and it's totally free because it's on beta in here you have also the the quotas the maximum resolution of of each render the download size which uh, actually before it was lower but I asked it for increase it and they they increase it that uh, actually this value just reset each month so you can download how many stuff so this is how many me megabytes you can download from the cloud in here it's how many query jobs you can have and in here this is the most exciting part is the active jobs so as you can see right now you have 
50 jobs that can render at the same time so it means that it will speed up your render for 50 times especially animation just animation like for example if I go on project and I see the, the work that I'm, I'm, I'm working right now and as you can see here it's already rendering all the three images in the same time so um, it will render 50 render at the same time you can actually increase even more this you can ask to be ready to increase it but I didn't because 50 was just amazing so I didn't need really more so in here you have also how to uh, to learn all the details uh, you know and all the, the information you need for I repeat it this is on beta and I don't know for how long this will be free so just use this chance to try it and you can use it um, for SketchUp, Revit and you know whatever software you are using you just need to learn how to export a V-Ray scene that we just did it on 3 Studio Max for the animation you will speed up your render 50 times faster because V-Ray Cloud render 50 jobs at the same time. I cannot say the same for a still image, but I have a E7 4970K, which has eight threads, and actually rendering cloud, it's twice faster than on my machine. So this is really, really a great deal. So I advise you guys to try this out uh, because that's great and it will not be forever free so try it out guys try it out guys and don't forget to leave feedback to V-Ray Cloud because you know the beta is to learn from the clients how to improve this software so at least the, the minimum you can do you can just leave a feedback and let know V-Ray what you think about this new feature and if you like this video and if you speed up your render just drop a like and subscribe my channel I'm CGI artist and I love to share you know tips and workflow so yeah see you next time bye <music>